and it's nighttime in the desert in Las Vegas, Nevada. And now we're going to see this man live in action, Badu Jack, against Marcus Brown. Look at those bodies. Are they cut? Are they ready for this championship fight? WBA Interim Light Heavyweight Championship. Two time world champion Badu Jack, 22 and 1. Taking on Marcus Brown. Badu Jack the Ripper. Wow. Last time out, he had a majority draw with Adonis Stevens. But we'll take a look at the tail of the tape for this one. And you see that Marcus Brown is a half inch taller. The weight's uh, exactly the same when they weighed in. Marcus Brown, seven years younger. And it uh, looks like the uh, reach is just exactly the same. So not a lot of difference uh, here. The weight reach the same. The big advantage for Brown is that he is seven years younger. And the height doesn't make any difference at all. So we're just about set to go. The fighters are in the ring, and here's Jimmy Lynn. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, Premier Boxing Champions presents the next of our title attractions, and it's brought to you by MP Promotions, Mayweather Promotions, and TGB Promotions, in association with About Billions Promotions and Showtime. Sponsored by Wow Filipinas Party List, Decante, the official beer of boxing, Hubo, the art of fusion, and limitless performance real people real life real results this bound in the ring is sanctioned by the WBA the president Gilberto Jesus Mendoza supervisor George Martinez introducing our three judges scoring from ringside from Las Vegas Nevada Eric Cheek from Villa Park California Max DeLuca and from Noank Connecticut Don Trella and introducing our referee in charge of the action, our third man to the ring, Tony Weeks. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Interim Light Heavyweight World Championship. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner to my right, wearing black trunks with gold trim, hailing from Staten Island, New York. He weighed in right at the light heavyweight limit of 175 pounds. A 2012 U.S. Olympian, he is undefeated in his campaign at the professional ranks. With a record of 22 wins, no losses, and 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the WBA, WBC, and WBO number two rank contender. Introducing the undefeated, Sir Marcus. Brown. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver trunks with red trim. He is fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Stockholm, Sweden. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 175 pounds. His record stands at 21 wins, one loss, and four draws, with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. A veteran of six world title appearances and a former two division world champion. Here is the WBA and WBC number one ranked light heavyweight contender. Introducing Badu Jack the Ripper. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, we have Tony Weeks. Okay, gentlemen, you both receive your instructions in your dressing room. Okay, right here is good. Right here is good. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. All right, Tony gives the final instructions. By the way, you saw on the tail of the tape, both guys weighed in at 175 officially yesterday. Well, Badu Jack put on 10 pounds. He's at 185 tonight. And Marcus Brown put on 17 pounds overnight. He's at 192. So they're fighting way over the 175 pound limit. While well, they both made it, they both enjoyed some good food last night, a lot of protein, and they're ready to go tonight. Decked out in the gold and black is Marcus Brown, and in the white with the red trim, that's your Badu Jack, 22 and 1, former world champ, three draws, 13 KOs. Both of these guys can bang. We show you some film of uh, 
a video I should say of uh, Badu Jack who gets uh, clipped that time by Brown Brown has 16 KOs in his 22 wins. He hails from Staten Island in New York. Stop, stop, Brown stop, had a stop. solid you, amateur career, 2012 Olympian. Brown is last time out uh, in August, the 10 round unanimous decision win over Lennon Castillo in Uniondale, New York. And Badu Jack had that majority draw with Donna Stevenson for the WBC World Light Heavyweight title up in Toronto, Canada. The book on Badu to the right of your screen in the white trunk speed, solid body shots, experience against top uh, opposition, tough. He's a guy that can get knocked down and he's able to get up and perform after being knocked down. And the book on uh, Marcus Brown is that he's very aggressive. He starts fast, plenty of power, fast hands, solid body shots. Both guys sort of feeling each other out here. A lot more at stake here in this fight, so a, a big difference. Brown is listed as only an inch taller than Badu, but he, he looks a lot taller than that but maybe it's just the angle but the uh, round on the left of the screen looks a lot taller maybe a couple of inches taller but it might just be the hairstyles too Jack skips forward he's kind of punching by the New York uh, native Marcus Brown Brown with his back to you Kind of an even first round, guys. He saw him back and forth, but Brown did more damage than did Badu in the first round. First round, but I'm giving that to Brown. So as the camera opens up, you can see that the crowd is really in You're here now. Good. Don't get anxious. You know I'll fight. Perfect. Breathe. Shut your legs out. Breathe. You're beautiful. You know what we do. It's all We're gonna get him. Let him get stupid. He's gonna get stupid this round. This the is the round he's gonna get stupid. I need you to protect yourself. Stop jumping in. Relax. Don't listen to nobody. Listen to me. I promise you we're gonna get him. Relax. He's a front runner. Listen, he should have got the water. Even the instructions are nice. Nice. Uh -huh. Beautiful. You can see everything he's gonna do. He comes everything. to you, except around him. Got it? That's how he's gonna fight you. Let's go. Gary Stone. Line him up the for the one, two, and two there. threes. Sharif, take the box. All right, here we go. This is round number two. I gave Brown the first round. Now you heard the instructions. Told Badu that the Brown is going to come after you this round and just box, just box. Notice that uh, Brown is a southpaw, so you're going to see those front feet tie up a lot more in this fight than we had the two southpaws fighting each other. The object is to work your front foot to the outside. Hasn't been a problem yet in the fight, but it can be just one quick step while there's a punch thrown. And what happens is you're off balance and you can get knocked down. If the guy steps on you at the same time, he clips you. Tony Weeks is very experienced, so if it's, you know, like push or slip, he'll, he'll be able to see that. Tony works uh, further away so he can see the legs of the fighters. And that's because he's such an experienced referee and he's on the move all the time. Too certain. Basically, when you have a softball fighter, the referee wants to work to the open side. That's the open side right there that he's looking at. That's why he's trying to get position. Bruce McTavish, the great Hall of Fame referee from the Philippines, taught me that. 
down in New Zealand. So Tony doing exactly that, always staying on the open side of the big fight. So you can see the hands and see all the punch. Doesn't get blocked by the shoulders that are turned in. Plenty of room. He tries to jab his way in by touching him up. I find these guys haven't nailed each other too much. It's a very even round with 46 seconds to go. Tightens up his defense. Marcus Brown trying to get him to go with some of these fates, but he hasn't gone for it. He hasn't bitten yet. Who uh, misses because of the movement of Marcus? Trying to steal this round in the closing seconds. And the bell ends. I don't know. I, I, I got to give it a brown. Another close round, but these Sit rounds are very, very close. Me. You got to listen to me. Don't let him go this way. I want him going. He can't fight going that way. He's looking for that hook, Badu. You can't get. You can't get. You can't get lazy with your left hand. I got yours. Go ahead. He's looking for that big hook. He's gonna make believe that he wants that big hook on you. You got him. Be patient. He's already running. You can see he's losing his cool. You can see it already. It's early. I need you to stay relaxed. The next round we go. Got it. Your face on it. With the water. Right there. You get it. Ah. Keep the face on him and keep fucking burying that distance in range. Good man. Choose it. Do the same thing the whole damn fight. Got it. Want that left hand alive. Got it. Up and down, baby. Let's go. Hawkins. Hawkins. Getting that scary start. Mike Rodriguez, Sharif Yunan, work in that corner of Marcus Brown. So here we go. It's round three. I've given Brown the first two rounds. Not a lot between them, though. Again, Brown is a guy with the fancy trunks. Badu Jack, the former world champion in white and red. Downstairs, but uh, Marcus Brown is uh, exceptionally quick on his feet for big man. Nice combination by Marcus Brown. He looks a little off to me tonight. With the skill of Marcus Brown, and now for doing clicks downstairs. Brown looks uh, so much more powerful. We know he's heavier. He's hydrated with 17 pounds. Says he, do don't hold clear. ahead and watch. Here we go. Keep your hands up. The very best referees in the world, Tony Weeks, from right here in Nevada. He's just catching these little barring jabs right now here in the third round. A lot of anticipation in the crowd, but it's for the Manny Pacquiao fight. And at this point, I think that Marcus Brown is just outboxing. But do but do see the him go back and, and the assaults. Tony says, "Watch the heads, watch the heads, guys." This is scheduled for 12 rounds at stake, the WBA interim light heavyweight championship. 
It's a 175 pound division. But these guys are a whole lot heavier than that tonight. Do with a pretty good body shot that time. Right back comes Marks. Back the ripper. That's what they call Badu, but he hasn't done many ripping movements to the body. I got you. Let him go. This round's going to run out of time here. In our and there's the bell. And round number three. Well, I ended the shutout so far in favor of. Marcus Brown, the undefeated fighter. Watch uh, Marcus with his body work. Man. Clips him a couple of times in the area of the kidney behind that left elbow, and then he blasts one to the area of the liver. Look at this. Watch this shot. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Now that's a different different angle. But do uh, just uh, looks at Tony. <laughs> Then hey, number one. Let him off ahead. the hook. He's low. Every time he goes that way, he gets frustrated. He can't do that. But watch out for his hook, Bobby. Z. If you want to put pressure on him, chin tight. Left hand. Left hand. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Come here. All right, we're coming up to round number four. By the way, 10 point must scoring system, the no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. If I had to get up and save the bell in the ending round, only the referee can stop the fight from getting into any accidental head or any other accidental fouls. I'll explain the rule to you when it becomes pertinent to what happened. So here we are in the fourth round here at the MGM Grand Garden Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan. Glad to see you with us. We'll be walking around the world. With all my boys, Georgie Calvin, and the guys down there in uh, the Valley Inn in uh, New Zealand, Christ Church. Oh, if, if it's just the, the busyness of Marcus, stop, the, stop. I got you, I got you. Jack doesn't look as sharp tonight to me for some reason. I don't know why. I know he's in great condition. Must be that Marcus Brown is uh, just a better fighter than what I thought he was. And the guy's undefeated at 22 and 0 and 16 knockouts. Sometimes they don't know how to lose. The dude just seems very, very cautious with them all around. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I got you. Earlier fights tonight, if you've just joined us for one reason or another, Odino Bali from France won a unanimous decision over Rashi Warren. Former WBA 118 pound champion and Hugo Ruiz won a unanimous decision over Alberto Guevara. Two guys from Sinaloa, Mexico. Good fights, both of them. This one's interesting. But this just can't seem to get out of track. Just punches a little on the stop. right side. I understand fighting the southpaw can be difficult, but that's the right hand. You got to get down the middle. Instead, it goes over the shoulder. Right hands the body. There's a lot of that when they're on the inside. Stop! 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 Kind of Watch it. In this stage, you guys are not all over. You know what uh, Tony has to say? Hey, you're both doing a lot of grabbing. Dude just waiting, waiting. Then he attacks. Finally gets stop, off first. Stop, stop, stop. Inside. Tony won't let him bang on the inside if both hands are tied up. One's free. He'll let him go. He's not the type of referee that is obtrusive. Closing seconds now. This is the fourth round. Stop, stop, stop. Let him up, let him up. Isn't doing enough to win these rounds, and you got him, baby. You got him. That, that you got right him. hand is that great. It's great. Okay, listen to me now. Now we gotta go to work. We gotta start back. Get him up, and we gotta cut 
the ring. But when you catch, do a good jab. It's gonna frustrate him. When he throws his punches, catch, catch, jab. Trust me. But you gotta back him up. And you can't let him go this way. Every time he goes that way, he can't do shit. You let him off the hook when he goes right. You got it. But I need quick hands. Yeah, we need sharpness. The one, two, the sneaky's there now. When he backs to the rope, sneaky's there. And finish with the hook to the body. Finish with a hook, sneaky, and then you smother him, give yourself room. Now, you know, he's a deep breath. Oh, you got him, oh, you got him. Oh, left, left hand tight. I got you, man. Stop touching me. And here we go. This is round number five. That was Luke Delval trying to crank up his fight at Badu Jack. Let's see if Badu can follow the instructions. He's got to get a whole lot busy and let the right hand go. And Lou Del Mel is great about that, and he's exactly right about that. But the problem is, is that Marcus stop, stop, Brown stop. Is, seems to be getting off first most of the time. Brown in the black and gold uh, kind of print, and uh, Badu Jack in the white trunks with the red trim. A lot of this stuff going on in the fight. Tony has to work a lot. Tony Weeks is talking about the referee has to work a lot to keep these guys separate. They come in, they explode, and then they get tied up. Tony, you know, gives them another soft warning, but both guys are grabbing when they come in. They'll exchange and then they'll tie up. As opposed to trying to get out of here, they had tied up again. But you see that once Tony realized that time, Tony's going to tell us here. Stop your hold watch the back of me. Time in, let's go. When he says, warns him again by stop the holding to make it a better fight. And without all the holding, it would be a better fight. The crowd boos a little bit because Tony stopped the end. Stop, 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 a great job refereeing this fight because it's not an easy fight to referee. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, you don't love it. Every time the talk is to run about something, watch the heads, keep the hands up, stop holding. But do have a little bit better round in this round. And Marcus doing a lot of holding. At some stage, if he keeps it up, he's going to have to take a point away. The problem is, is that you see when he gets like that, he grabs So it really wouldn't be fun to take a point away from Marcus with, with the dude doing a considerable amount of holding as well. The dude hanging on this side. Let him up. Stop. Stop punching. Let him go. Southpaw has won this round though. He's facing a couple of really good shots. That one about 10 15 seconds ago was a hard shot. One of the better shots in the fight off the hands of Marcus Brown, who won that round. Coming up next, this man, the man that everybody wants to see. And you hear maybe behind me the crowd starting to cheer because this same uh, visual is up in the arena on the massive screens that are inside the arena here. Manny Pacquiao, look at this. Whoop. All those championships, eight division world champions. Wow, that's something. Manny Pacquiao, see Freddie Roach there. John Gibbons. <laughs> And he's ready. The crowd sees him up on the screen again inside here in the arena. And every time, first off, the man is such a popular guy, and Adrian Broman is not. And second off, there's a huge 
Filipino uh, residency here in Las Vegas, and they come out to the fights. Brown had a really good fifth round here, and now in the sixth round, they shot that again. Awkward position there for Brown. I've got Brown winning every round in this fight so far. Hands free, hands free, hands free. Stop, 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 stop. You know, it was strange that I don't see from Badu. You're really going, but a lot of that has to do with the way uh, Marcus Brown is fighting. Brown is, you know, a very, very good fighter. No, 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 no. Look at this. Don't throw any punches, but it's making a kind of a sloppy fight. Marcus Brown is soft on the back of the fringe of his trunk. A blue jacket from the world champ from the white trunks of the red gray. Look at Brown. Just stop boxing in here. The dude just not getting off enough. He's got to get that right hand down the middle track. There it goes, right there. More of those. Right hand down the middle of the southpaw is a way to beat it. See, he's not going in that time. And you know, you're going to say something about the defense of Marcus Prime because he's making the do miss. And maybe that's why he doesn't look as good to me because, you know, Brown, you know, that series of punches, they just look better. He always looks better when you're landing more punches, but do that. He gets a jab through. The Duke comes in and that's taken on the gloves. The Duke trying to be the aggressor here, but he's held off of Marcus Brown's jab. Brown takes a step around and makes a miss. A little bit on the south side is that last blow by Brown. Stop, I got you. The dude seems to want to try and fight more on the inside. And you know, look at that shot there. Semi uppercut. Brown getting the best of him on the inside again with 43, 42, 41 seconds to go. And this is the sixth round of the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's an interesting fight, but I've got it lopsided. I don't know how the judges see it. But that's the way I've got it. I don't have to do winning around yet. He was a favorite. This Marcus Faints doesn't ship Badu. Badu in the red trunks takes that left hand down the middle, which is what the southpaw wants to do with the right-handed fighter. But Badu not getting enough right hands down the middle on Marcus Brown. And the bet ends the sixth round. So at the halfway point, I get Brown winning every round. Side in his uh, training room, very relaxed. There's the big smile. Locker room of Manny Pacquiao. Manny waving to his fans back in the Philippines, I'm sure. Very relaxed, Manny Pacquiao. He's done this a few times. This will be his 70th professional fight tonight. All right, here we go. Round number seven. The MGM Grand Garden Arena, but he jacks up a little bit faster. And he needs to really pick it up in the second half of this fight now if he's going to win this thing. And so far, Marcus Brown has outboxed him quite convincingly, I think, during the course of the fight. There's a good right hand landed. Brown hasn't landed anything in this round, but do has. Got to throw that right hand again down the middle as the Duke Jack. Try to catch up with Marcus. Marcus comes back and that shot is blocked from the gloves. The Duke trying to give him a different look. Move the hands up and down. Skips forward now. Leans on Brown. Tries to land something on the inside. Now Tony has to separate the two. Right after the separation, it's Marcus Brown on the assault. Hands free, hands free. Again, 
I think Marcus Brown winning every round in the fight. I haven't stop, been able stop, to get one to do Jack. Might be a little bit closer than that, but Watch your hands in there. Watch your hands. I got to stop. Stop it. Watch your hands. Watch the hands. Watch the hands. And I guess the heads did come together. Come here. Come here. See now if Padu is cut. Doctor. Oh yeah, he is right in the middle of the floor. But remember, at this stage in the fight, if this fight has to be stopped because of that cut, again, accidental. See what we do. That's an accidental headbutt. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's okay, Mr. Okay. Okay, here we go. Time in. Both of you watch it. It's a bad place, except the fact that it's above the eye instead of below the eye. So if it opens up much, you know, that blood can come down in and block the vision. Get it scored 60 54, and that is the cut. Stop, 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 Holding every time Badu comes stop, in, stop, he's got you. that right hand hooked around Badu. Badu, there's a sense of urgency now. He's loading up shots on the stop, inside. Stop, stop. And then watch him win. Another point. Watch him win. He wants him watch watch about that, too. He's already lost one point in this round, which is like being knocked out. And here he's got holding stop, stop. He puts an arm bar on him every time he comes in. His right hand over the left hand of the right hand in fight. Ron's hands seem faster than Badu Jack. Badu trying to take his attention away as he comes in. All right, so in my opinion, Brown wins the round. 10-9, but he loses a point, so it's a 9-9 round. He gets the point taken away. What are you doing to this dude, right? You gotta stop it. You gotta go get him. Yeah. But you gotta get him smart. He's holding. They, yo, listen. They could right. they, they, they wipe his eye. They could disqualify him. They could disqualify him. Yeah. You go. Over here. You see the heads come together. It's definitely a head butt, but it's unintentional. That the guys are okay. It's between them, but it's going to leave. It's not going to be as bad as it's not on the arteries anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. there it is. Great job by the camera guys to catch that. That's beautiful. Look at it. This lays him open. That's a good cut. Go, second out. This. Boom. I have to get the tap. Let's go, let's the go. heads come together. Let's go. Well, now, I have to keep an eye on that. In the, uh, I heard the doctor say in between when he was going in there that the cut is not on an artery, and thank goodness for that, because if it did, it would just explode. So here we go. This is round number eight. The Duke Jack is cut, and Brown, who lost a point in the last round, still a my score cut. It was even 9-9, nine -nine. and his... Uh, Brown trying to finish this thing off by landing shots to the forehead and open that cut up. Brown stop, much stop, more stop, aggressive stop. than Badu Jack. Stop doing that. Here we go. Only again to stop doing that. He already lost one point. Stop. I got you. I got you. I think he's got Good enough up. points in the bank to be able to absorb losing another point. But you don't want to lose any more next. You never know what might happen. And then he get knocked down by Badu Jack. This fight's even again. Has proven to be a very, very tough fighter here tonight. And he certainly got the best of that accidental headbutt. But the accidental headbutt rule doesn't come into a factor at all now because we're beyond four rounds. So if this fight has to be stopped because of the cut, being that it was accidental, there would be a technical decision and the blue would probably lose the fight based on my score. That's academic right now. This fight's still going on. Put a blood all over the face of the 
Duke Jenner. And he clips him right on top of stop, it again. Stop, stop, stop. Him up. Brown is a tough guy, and so is Badu. But Badu is the one that's uh, losing the, the blood. Look at that face. Totally red with blood. And of course, Badu wipes it away now. And gunning for it is Marcus Brown trying to get the hand right on it. Knowing that if this fight is stopped because of that, it's a technical knockout victory for him. Planted that left hand right on top of that cut again. That time he comes up with the shoulder with it. Let's see what Tony says about that. Okay, keep him on. Here we go. Tony has had to work in this fight. He's done a remarkable job considering what's been going on. In the middle of all that, but New Jack had a really stiff jab in there with the left hand. And he's taken a lot of punishment, too. There's no quitting Jack, but he is a mess. We'll get a look uh, in between rounds and, and see how bad that cut is and see if it's been uh, ripped open anymore. Oh, that's a bad mouth. Is, mouth is. Badu, you got him, Badu. You got to keep the pressure. He's ready to get disqualified. He's ready to get disqualified. You got to put pressure. And you load it up. Stop hopping. Just twist and turn. If you want to win this fight, I need sneaky with a big hook. I need sneaky I with a big hook with pressure. Look like this. Look, sneaky. I don't care about the right, but I want the. You got him. Hey, stay. 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 This is again a schedule for 12, but I don't know if this, uh, this cut is going to hold up. That's a really bad cut right now. I couldn't tell because they had the cover on it in the previous round, but I had one quick look at it. As you, as you, did it home, you can see that this thing is about an inch and a half cut, and it just gets get laid wide open because uh, Marcus Brown, like radar, with that hand trying to get right on top and split that uh, head open again. And if it uh, opens up enough where it hits another, that'll be the end of the fight because it'll be pumping blood out. See him doing a lot of hitting right on top of that cut again. Punches him up with the left hand again. And it's gone here in the ninth round. And now it's more about the cut. And in the corner, Lou Delvell hoping that there might be some sort of disqualification, but I don't think that's in the cards tonight. The dude is doing everything he can do with a lot of courage. All these fighters are courageous, but look at that face of Badu Jack. And when you're fighting a guy and you see him split open like that, it just gives you more confidence. Look at him, he just keeps putting that jab right on top of him. Honestly, Badu's jab is better right now, but the pinpoint uh, accuracy of his jab on top of that cut is not helping him. Solid inside right hand that time by Badu. I got you, I got you. Inside one minute to go. The corner of Badu keep yeah, He's holding, he's holding, trying to get another point, but even another point is gonna help much. Because there's only three rounds to go after this next 47, 46, 45 seconds. How many more times can Badu take shots on top stop, of that stop. guy before they have to stop? Yeah. 
Referees uh, here in Nevada will yield to the doctor unless it gets so bad that Tony would just stop it himself or call the doctor in to have a look at it. But Tony's in so many fights, he's seen worse cuts than this in his career. But this is a bad one. It's not in the eye, it's right in the middle of the forehead. But it's getting bigger and laying open with each round. And Badu is just getting out of the box and all of this is going on. Bell ends in the ninth round. By the way, my score is 89-81. You let them off the hook, baby. You let them off the hook. You keep getting them off the hook. I'm the sneak is there. And come with the hood. Stop smothering yourself. You look good. You only got a cut right there. That's nothing. Give him order. It might feel like it, but it's nothing. I promise you, it's nothing. Good, baby. Yeah, you could. So well, let's work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but I'm not taking no, yeah, yeah. no, it. I got it in this fight, baby. I got it. All right. All right, baby. Good. Don't get yeah, mad. Yeah, Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus. We got it. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Focus, baby. Focus. Let's go. No ropes. This guy's looking. This guy's yes, going to take a bath. Don't get left. Let's go. Put his mouth in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Take the chair. Take the stool. Here we go. The set of round number 10. I've got Brown up in front. 89-81. In spite of the fact he lost the point in the seventh round. But he still managed to half that round because he won a 10-9. And then the point comes off and it makes it a 9-9 round. So he's still way out in front in this fight. But Jack would have to talk about to win the fight on my score sheet if the judges are seeing it the same way. Straight left hand down the middle, right on top of that cut. Look at this. Man, is he working towards trying to get it back. This is coming back down a little bit. Lou Delval hasn't believed in that cut is nothing. And he's buying into it because he's working really hard and the cut is just laying open again now. And a lot of time, two minutes and 14 seconds to go in this round. And the thing is wide open again. You just see. Brown is just like really looking at it and uh, he wants to hit it every time he gets the opportunity. A little bit of a long blow by each guy that time, so Tony didn't say anything. I do try to get off up the cuts to the inside as long as one hand is free, and he hits him with the left hook. I do is some kind of tough. I want to tell you that time he clips the right hand. And that's what you've got to do with the. Man, it sounds like one of these fighters. That's what you Listen, the fight is too long. Good Brown, scheduled for 12. I've got Brown way out in front of this fight. He's undefeated at 22 and 0. And unless he's knocked out, he's probably going to be 23 and 0 when this thing's over. The Duke Jack was cut way back in the seventh round, and he's fought the past uh, two and a half rounds and two and three quarter rounds. With a bad cut. Jack. Run. Bangs him right on top of the cut again and again. All we can do is look in between rounds and see if we get a sneak peek at how bad it is. I can't tell from my vantage point here just how bad it is. Nice right hand by Badu on the inside. Badu not quitting in any way. 15 seconds to go in the round. Just waiting for the shot to try to get on top of it. When I say on top of it, I'm talking on top of that uh, cut again. Marcus waiting, waiting, waiting. This is something he's fighting pretty cautious right now. In fact, I'm giving that round to Badu. It's the first round I've given him in the fight. He's good. He's good. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. I know, I know, I'm just, I'm cleaning you. It looks bad for the judges. Trust me, it looks bad. It looks good now, when, but when you're bleeding, it looks bad. It's nothing, it's a bullshit cut. Open up. It's a 
little bit more than that. I'll take care of that. Just take care of that. Put that pressure harder. Russ, hard, man. It's hard. He's done. Give me a little Keep the fans. Give me a good round. He's trying to get the fuck out of here. Bill and Russ and Russ. There's a lot of pressure on him. He's done. You want to be right for the left? Close your eyes and go to the left. Deep breath. Some bass on his face. You got bass on his face? Yeah, I got it. got two rounds. Two rounds. Two rounds. You champion, baby. Focus. Defense. Don't no ropes. No ropes. Come on. I want him to stay off the ropes and just do what he's doing. Even though I gave that round to Badu Jags, it was a close round. So here we go again. This is the 11th round. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan. You're watching Premier Boxing Champions, and this has been a really hard fight for the former champ, Badu Jack. Neither fighter has been down in the fight. Nobody really shaken, and all of a sudden, from the seventh round on, the whole talk is about the cut. But uh, in fairness to Russ Anbar, the cut man, even though Lou was telling him, they put more pressure on it, more pressure on it. These guys, Russ and, and uh, Lou, are old school boxing guys. They know how to get a guy through a fight. Now the, the blood is bothering the eyes of the dude, Jack. And Tony will have to watch that. As if it starts screaming out much more, he may have to stop the fight. Look at that. Look at that. Badu says, come on, come on, let's go. Not to go on courage. They have him convinced him. Time is called. He's going to have the doctor take a look at that. They're telling him to leave it to the doctor now. Yeah, this, look at it. It's just screaming. They're going to have to stop this fight. That, that's a bad one. I've seen a lot of cuts, and I don't like to see doctors stop, uh, stop it. But he will advise... Tony, let's see what he says. Okay, give me a chance. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, and the experienced okay. ring doctors here in Nevada will let them go. They have a lot of experience here. As long as it's not uh, an artery that's pumping the blood up, they let it go. But, <laughs> you know, Lou Del Bell was telling the story to his fighter. It's not that bad. It's a bad cut. Let's go, let's go. It's a bad cut. Tony did the smart thing. Quick snap by Badu Jack. A lot of courage, but a lot of time left to go in this the 11th round. It's open up again. A lot of cities, a lot of countries, this fight would have been stopped. These guys had so much experience yet. They know. I got you, I got you. Stop, 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 stop. Turn him up. Turn around. The physicians here in Las Vegas are ring professionals. They know what they're doing. Now don't worry about it. Wherever you're watching, it's just real messy right now. And the boxing part of it, Marcus Brown continues to score punches, and Jack is you know, get some sort of second win. The the warrior and because of the cut has come out in him. You see the blood dripping down his face. 25 seconds to go. Big crafty is it Brown the way that time pulling out he's behind the referee so Badu can't get him. Do it some kind of tough as the 11th round goes by, and that's a brown round. It's good. You're good. You're good. Yo, listen. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. He's good. Give me, give me, give me. Give him up. Okay, you gotta listen to me. I want Mike Tyson now. Mike Tyson. No more boxing. I need Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson with your hands up and go after him. If you don't do this, you're not gonna win. I need the Mike Tyson straight right hook. Mike Tyson on him. If you do that, you're gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Wipe him off. You listening to me? Yeah. You gotta listen to me, baby. Yeah, yeah. Your daughter's out there. She's worried. You got a little cut. It looks bad because you're bleeding, but it's not. He's done, he Marcus. Long jab He's just desperate. On your face. Hit him with one. Okay, to don't back too much. Get, get off first. Get off first. Deep breath. Got it. Get off first. All right, you hear? Blue Del Bell tells Badu Jack that cuts nothing, which it is. It's something. 
in fairness, and that part of the skull, it tends to bleed a lot. It hasn't hit an artery. The doctor would have stopped the fight. We're in round number 12. That cut occurred in the seventh round, and I'll tell you this, uh, Russ Ambar, one of the old real pros, is able to keep him in the fight by doing what he does in between rounds. And Marcus Brown, I got him out in front 108 to 100, so it would take a Bundu Jack knockout to him to win this fight. Jack has given it everything he's got. Give him plenty of credit. Brown, they just got to keep him out there. You hit Lou Del Valle yelling, come on, you got to be like Mike Tyson. Well, he's not like Mike Tyson right now. talk about this fight because in the early going the rounds are fairly close but I had Brown winning them all and the Duke Jack has been working a lot harder since the cut but it's I know not quite enough and it's too late all you got to do is take a look at the face of Badu Jack and I'll tell you what kind of warrior he is and all Marcus Brown has to do now is just cruise to the blood on his gloves. Coming up for the one minute mark remaining in this fight. And Marcus Brown is going to have himself a light heavyweight title. Alexander Mozek is the WBC champ. Demetrius Bebo is the WBA champ. Alfred Benabiev is the IBF champ. Alida Alvarez is the WBO champ. So this WBA championship, an interim championship as it is in the WBA with the multiple champions, means that a world title shot is going to come up very shortly for Marcus Brown. Badu Jack is not irrelevant in the light heavyweight division because he put on some kind of fight tonight. The crowd begins to applause. A lot of people are standing. Two, old, two warriors. What a tough fight. Brown is uh, beginning to celebrate. But still doesn't like it. champion Marcus Brown. We get the job done tonight. I scored at 118 to 109. Put your fucking we'll hands up. The We're talking to the mountain. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck out of here. Take it to deep water. That was a tough, hard fight for Badu Jack. Something seemed off from the get-go for me, from what I've seen of Badu Jack. But uh, look at that cut. That's a bad cut. It's still, it's going to take stitches to close that up. That's for sure. But uh, I mean, no lack of courage throughout the course of the fight for Badu Jack. He uh, gave it all he had. This kid from Stockholm, Sweden, who resides here in Las Vegas now. Very nice kid and a very, very tough fighter. Badu Jack, <laughs> he fought for Gambia in the Olympics. And he's gonna have a sore head tomorrow. And he's going to have to go and get that stitched up. All the doctors and attendants here will probably. Look at that. Look at that layout. Really open. Is that two inches? God bless you and your family. Can you remember who you're fighting? God bless you and your family, man. God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. a nice kid, Marcus. Amazing. Two guys trying to beat each other's brains out for 12 rounds and how courteous they were there. 
but you can see that's going to take some stitches and he's going to be out of action for a while. Now that's a bad cut. Well, Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing by, and as soon as he has the official particulars, we'll have it. But I can assure you that Brown has won a unanimous decision. We'll just see if the judges have it the same way. I'm showing you the headbutt here. And you see, as the headbutt occurred, it started to bleed instantaneously. And yet the corner. Ross Sambar, the cut man for uh, there was able to keep him in the fight. And you saw, I mean, that thing was laid open about a quarter of an inch. And maybe a couple of inches long. This is the point that was taken away, but it'll be academic again. I scored a 118, 109 because in that round that he lost the point, I thought he won the won the round. So that would have been a 10 to 9 round with a point away, it would still be 9 9. So but do Jack, in my opinion, didn't pick up any points in. This was at the stage when he started shaking his head. See that that last punch right there was right on top of him. After that is when the blood came profusely out and Tony shortly after this stuff and there's another punch right on top of it again and the third glancing blow you can see maybe one more time how bad the cut is without being too gory here at ringside see that's really bad two inches long and a quarter inch uh, wide that's a bad cut here's Jimmy Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Eric Cheek scores the mound 117 to 110. Max DeLuca sees it 116 to 111. And Don Trella scores the mound 119 to 108. All three in favor of the winner of the WBA interim light heavyweight title. Sir Marcus Brown! So Marcus Brown gets the decision. 117, 110, 116, 112, 119, 108, and throwing my 118, 109 fight in line with the judges. There he is, the new Incham Light Heavyweight Champion of the WBA, Marcus Brown.